Right, today I've uh, I decided to show you how to test a boost pressure sensor. This is a Passat 2007. Uh, it's a BXE, if I'm not wrong, it's a 1.9 uh, TDI. So we have a boost pressure sensor here, right? Um, that's the boost pipe, right, to the intake manifold. Uh, what I want to draw your attention to is the number of wires we have one two three four of which this one is pin one pin two pin three and then pin four is the purple one i've got the ignition key on at the moment and i've disconnected uh, the sensor so um, what i will do i'll probe it at the back i, I discourage you know going this way okay this is not the best way of, of testing these sensors because when you do that you can actually end up open up these pins by the time you push it in there it's open up it will not have good contact and it will cause you problems that you'll never even know that you caused yourself so the best thing is to come at the back so i'm, I'm on pin number one now i made sure that i found myself good ground right straight on the battery okay and to show you that i've got good ground you can you want to always test your ground uh bear with me right it's come off you see that's what i was it's always good practice to check your to check your meter if it's connected properly okay so i do have good ground here and um, i don't have a battery maintainer so i'll try and go as fast as i can because the ignition key is on so i'm on pin number one at the moment i'm trying to ascertain i don't have a manual i just want to to see what is going on here uh, whenever I see these four wires here, there's all of straight away. I'm thinking, okay, what are they doing? I'm thinking that since this is a boost pressure sensor, um, we have a boost sensor, but we may also have an a boost temperature sensor. Okay, that's why we have four wires there. All right, so I, I'm expecting to see two, two five volt references, but. I could be wrong systems are different but that's what i'm thinking of so we'll go and do that and see establish the facts 0 0.0129 okay uh that's that's like a ground to me 0 0.012 0 0.0129 0 volts okay um then I'll go to pin number two and so we've got 4.9 volts roughly we have five volts here so pin number two 4.9 volts and so if I go to pin number three I've got five volts on pin three and I'll show you again pin three just for you to be sure it's five volts right so I'll go to pin four right in number four we have five volts right so five volts uh, key on engine off again so what I want to teach you here so here we have the key on that's sensor disconnected key on engine off all right key on engine off lid yeah we'll try and focus please yeah, want a clear video right uh key key on engine off so what i want to do i want now to connect my sensor because look what we have established here we have got three five volt reference this said 4.9 but it's just five volts okay we have got three five volt reference and a ground okay so in this case you are thinking why do we have three five volts 
I know that's the question that goes through your mind. But I'll show you when I connect this sensor here, you'll find that one of these five volt references will disappear. Okay? It will drop down maybe to one point something volt. Okay? And um, the other one should stay up. Okay, so let, let's try and let's let's go in and, and get this done. So we'll, we'll connect this one. Okay. So let's check our number four and see. Number four is now one point nine volt. Okay. So number four is now 1.9 volt, but it was five volt when it was disconnected. So take note of that. Um, then we go to number three. Number three stays five volt. So number three is five volt disconnected and connected I'll go to number two the red wire let's go to number two we now have two volts on number two 2.5 okay uh, we have 2.5 volts on number two uh, let's see number one this is our ground we have 0 0.0178 volts right so <laughs> you, you look at these two all right look at these two here they are they are telling us a story here so definitely this 5 volt here that you see on pin number 3 the 5 volt on pin number 3, it is for the boost pressure sensor. It stays up. Okay? That's the boost pressure sensor. 5 volt. Alright? This one here that you see on pin number 2, which is now 2.5 2 volt. This one here, remember it was 4.9. Now it's 2.5. I can assure you, this one here... It is the power okay it is the power that's the power for the temperature sensor that's the 5 volt reference for the temperature sensor I'll, I'll tell you why is I, I how I'm, I'm judging that so this one here see that pin number four so this one it is the, the boost pressure sensor signal wire. That's our signal wire. Okay? This one here is our ground. Alright? This one here is our 5 volt ref for boost pressure sensor. So we have a signal wire for the boost pressure sensor. Okay? So we have a signal wire for the boost pressure sensor. We have a 5 volt reference for the boost pressure sensor. We have a ground. This ground is common ground. Okay? It is common to both sensors so these two sensors this temperature sensor here and the, the the boost pressure sensor they are sharing the same ground this is shared between the two sensors that's why you have four wires they could have simply put five wires here okay they could have done that but to, to reduce their number of wires, you know, going to sensors, because remember the number of wires, it, in, it adds to the weight of the vehicle, you know, so that defeats power to weight ratio. So they just cut and give you four wires instead of five, because they could have actually given 
a separate vo a separate ground for each sensor but in this case these two sensors are sharing the same so you may ask me now and say but why is that okay let's start with this one why is that it dropped from 4.9 to 2.5 but remember remember this is a temperature sensor it is a thermistor okay remember this is a thermistor what you have you have two you have two resistors okay you have two resistors that are connected in series okay this one being in the in the ecu this one is your variable resistor uh that's your engine well that's your air temperature sensor that's your air temp or bus uh, that's your air temp sensor okay so this one is variable so the moment that one goes to ground this 5 volt here if it flows to ground definitely it's going to register in here remember we have a voltmeter that we have here okay we we have a voltmeter that we have here so it's gonna re it, it will drop this 5 volt is gonna drop so at the moment it's showing 2.5 why does it do that this 5 volt reference for every thermistor for every temperature sensor the 5 volt reference is also it is also the signal wire you know a temperature sensor you'll notice that it has got two wires it doesn't have three why because this one plays two roles it's a five volt reference and it's also a signal wire and then you have got the ground all right so you ask me then now next why is the signal wire five volt when disconnected 1.9 when connected yes the ecu uses this voltage here okay this is for dire diagnostic purposes okay that's for diagnostic purposes the ecu watches this wire that's your signal wire it is checking it it knows the moment it goes to five volt it knows that there's an open okay it knows that there's an open and the moment you connect it it drops the the five volt drops right down okay uh, some people i know um people would they refer to it as a bias voltage okay it just dropped down straight away and that's how you figure out your signal wire from your temperature sensor wire i will end here if there are any questions please forward them to me i hope you'll find this very very useful remember to subscribe Click the notification bell and you'll never miss a video from me. I thank you.